we've made it, made it. We have completed yet another successful or semi-successful hmm, school year. And yeah, next year I won't be with the same community I was with last year. I'm going to jump into that in a little bit. But first, welcome or welcome back to My Green and Pastor. In this video, I will give you my honest review of Classical Conversations. It was our first year in foundation. I'll share what we liked, what we disliked, and we'll kind of go from there. If you recall, at the beginning of the school year, we started with a new curriculum. I shared, we did a video. I'll go ahead and link it somewhere up here for you to see if you missed that. So I've always homeschooled. This is something that I've been passionate about. I just knew that my kids just were not going to be part of what my husband calls the indoctrination camp. Thankfully, we have a great dynamic and I'm able to stay home and I'm able to work um, from home. Um, and he allows me to be able to do this and I homeschool our kids. We chose last year the foundations curriculum and what came with that was an amazing community that I won't be with next year. I know it sounds crazy, but what comes with this is that if you search online, you'll be able to find them and I'll link their website and you can search near you to find a community and you'll be able to see that they're everywhere. And literally within my own town, that there's quite a few. So we chose to go this route and, and I'm going to basically tell you why we won't be doing it next year. So we did foundations and this is like a K4 or K5 through sixth grade. As you know, this last school year, we had a seven-year-old, a five-year-old, and a three-year-old. Next school year, we'll have an eight-year-old, a six-year-old, and a four-year-old. Oh, yes, every two years, your sister, your sister friend was busy, but as you can see, um, my youngest is about to turn four and ain't nothing popping, so we are in good shape. Thank you, God. Answer prayers. Now, let's get back to it. We look forward to being able to teach from home next year. It won't be any different as far as us being able to teach from home. So I'm going to share with you some of the resources that I love. One of the major resources is this Foundations Curriculum book. Inside of it, it is like stick in the sand. It makes it super easy for you to pick it up and be able to teach your kids a lot of like memorization type things. And the beauty of having a community is that once a week, you're able to meet up with your community and you're the lead learner. So you, yes, the parent, you are the lead learner. You basically go in, your student is in the classroom and you're there with them, but you are learning and you're the tutor, which is not the teacher. The tutor is modeling what you should be doing throughout the week and how you can teach your kids things like math, Latin, science, English, timeline, which is our history, other history, geography, and different like hands-on fine arts kind of projects. So I love this. This was like the resource. I'm so glad. And this is, we did cycle one this year. It has cycle two in it and cycle three. So this is a book that you'll be able to use for quite some time. And they'll be revisiting these cycles a few times during if they start off really young. So that was a resource that we really, really enjoyed. The other resource we really enjoyed was these CDs because we can have them in the car. We can pop them in the car. We actually ordered a boom box. Let me see if I can get it out of the way. Do you remember those old like cassette player, not cassette player, those old boom boxes and you know, everything green around here. So we ordered this boom box and sometimes we play it here in the RV as well. And the kids really, 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 really enjoy that. So they have like the timeline, they have different subjects and like songs that they can use to memorize it. They have the math, the Latin. So this CD, they're able to pop it in, listen to it in free time, have it playing in the background. So we really love that. Another resource that we ordered off of the website, and all of these are on the website, so I'll go ahead and list them. And I know people that have done CC and have changed their mind, but they still use these resources because they're so, so, so amazing. And I'll tell you about us and why we're not continuing, what are we going to be doing next, but I'm just glad that we do have these resources. So here is something, it's like a placemat that they can sit on the table while they're eating, but it also... They can point at different things and all the things that we've learned is right in front of them. They have this map as well as this map where they can learn and they've learned a lot of these different places. They were able to memorize this as well and they have that handy resource. So another cool resource I totally forgot to mention is inside of this box here. We have the cards that we use that we got off the website too. So we have them in here. We love, love, love the ones that we did for this was one of our favorites, the ones we did for the Living on the Planet Biology and Earth Science. So it just has different flashcards about all the things that we learn. And we just kind of like put them up whenever we're in that week and talk about them. So we have them for, I don't know why that pumpkin is there. <laughs> but we have them for like history as well. Some of them we didn't even open yet because we didn't cover them. So what is this one? This one was for like medieval and just all the things that you would need. This one right here was for ancient world. So we just, when we learned about all the empires and stuff. So that is another resource that we absolutely love. And all, oh, I should mention like on the back of each of them, tells you like more information and especially with the science one. So let me show you this one. So it talks about vertebrates and then it gives you examples of vertebrates and all the things. 
one of the resources that they have, and I told you I'm going to give you the things that I like and the things that I dislike, is online. We paid for additional resources where we can literally go on. And this is one of those things where I felt like it was a little too messy. I mean, I just felt like I was digging through so many things to find what worked for my kids. And I'm like, mm, I don't like that too much. But I did hear through the grapevine that this upcoming school year that that's going to be consolidated and actually is included in your fee. So it's not a separate fee that you're going to have to pay where they have organized things really well, making sure that you have all the resources. So if you will be doing CC next year, that is something to definitely look forward to and have. Another thing that I disliked was the fact that this curriculum that I showed you, it didn't include like a full math and it didn't include a full like English. And that's one of the things that you should be mindful of if you're starting CC is that you're going to have to pick a math and an English that works for you and your family. And by saying that works for you and your family, I really mean that because I realize this year that all of my kids are different and that's probably why they do it that way where they don't have one resource, one math and English for all of them. But I think by the time they get to a certain grade level, Saxon math is what they're using. So you might decide, let me just start them off with Saxon math, or you might find other things. For us personally, we have loved different curriculums, but one of the things that they really like, just pull up their tablets and use it in free time, and they have workbooks for it. I'll go ahead and link. They have reading eggs and math seeds that they use. They have a great games if your kids love games to be able to learn. So I highly, highly, highly recommend it. And like I said, I'll go ahead and link it in the description here so you can check it out and see and I'll pop in a picture here they have all these fun things workbooks all the things so this video is not about that I'll do a separate review about that if enough of you are interested in getting a review about that this video is about CC and things that I like and dislike so that's one of the things that I didn't like so much and I told you the things that I love told you what I didn't like and now let's get into it right I'm trying to keep this as short and sweet as possible we will not be with our community that we were with. Like, we won't be with them anymore. And that was the key word. We won't be with that community, but we will still be with Classical Conversations. Yes, we loved it that much. We actually loved it so much. Before I tell you all, all the things, but we loved it so much that I had the opportunity last year, last school year that just ended here, to tutor... And it was just such a rewarding experience. I mean, all of it has been rewarding because I feel like I've redeemed part of my education because, ooh, I realized that I did not know what I did not know, okay? So there's things like they were learning about where the Suez Canal is. And I'm like, wasn't that on the news? Wasn't a ship like stuck in the Suez Canal? Because even then, when I heard that the ship was stuck like last summer in the Suez Canal, I never looked it up. But they were learning where it was at and they had to locate it on the map. And I'm like, oh, so that's the Suez Canal. Good to know that that's where it's located. And now I know where it's located. So I've redeemed my um, education. And during that time, I made the decision, drum roll, I will be tutoring next year. So not only will we just not, we, we're not quitting. We love it so much. We will be joining another community, not because our community had anything wrong with it at all. It was just at this point in our lives and the work that we're doing on the property, we've decided that we needed to be closer to home. And like I told you in the beginning of the video, if you search on their website, put your zip code, you will be able to find that there's plenty of communities all over the place. So we chose a community that's literally like minutes away from our house. So we have chosen to do a different community. We've met those people in that community and they're just as amazing as the community that we are leaving and we look forward to next year. My kids really, really enjoy it. The only thing that they were like, oh, I'm not sure um, if I want to leave and go to a new community is because they have like PE that's like something bonus that our old community did. But we're looking and we're working on getting that in our new community too. So that's that. If you were looking for me to tell you something that was just like, oh, so horrible and so dramatic with the people, with the directors, with all the things, that's not, that's not here. <laughs> this is not the video. You might have to watch somebody else's video for that because I love the people in our community, the families, the students. Like I said, I got to tutor for two weeks and it was just amazing. And the directors, all the people were just great. And I look forward to having meetups where we all meet as um, a local community, just because I already know someone in that community. So if you are considering adding CC to your wheelhouse, to your homeschooling for next year, I strongly recommend it. If you have any questions, pop them in the um, comment section. I am, you know, I'm an open book. I'm going to tell it like it is if you have any questions. And Oh, one thing I should add, this is not at this age group that I'm in with my kids foundation. It is not a drop off program. I think that's when they're like in high school. And like I said, like I'm casting the vision. They will be in high school doing CC because I love it so much. And that's what we're, we're casting our vision for a long, long time. We look forward to it. 
so they then they'll have a drop-off program but for right now there isn't a drop-off program for them we are in there and I as the parent is the lead learner and there's some times where Terry was there as well so we're just super excited to have this as a resource especially in this day and age where you're just like oh maybe I think I'm not smart enough to do it yes you are smart enough and like I, I always say you only have to be one day smarter than your one day smarter than your kids. And this helps you be that one day smarter than your kids. So if this was a value to you, go ahead and share with someone and we'll kind of go from there. As always, please check out some of our other videos. Thank you for watching this video. And remember, reward yourself every day by making greener lifestyle choices. Did you love it? You love it? You look forward to being in a real class next year too, right, Safari Rose? Yeah. So we'll see you in the next one. And what else? Subscribe!